Hey, Blockheads, this is DJ AK, the Amanda Knight, and I'm here to let you know that my so-called whatever podcast and No More Games Radio have joined forces. Listen to No More Games Radio on Sundays at 2 p.m. for your favorite episodes of my so-called whatever podcast and maybe a live episode. Who knows? Tune in to my so-called whatever podcast for upcoming No More Games radio features and exclusive stories from our staff and DJs. And as always, follow us on social media at No More Games Radio and at my so-called whatever. Hang tough! Friends forever, that's what we are. Through the thick and the thin, we're friendship stars. We're banger main buddies from the days of old. We laugh, cry, and hug, friendship solid gold. My soul called whatever started a year ago. We share our stories, and your stories were told. 80s, 90s, memories that give us glee. And on the block party shows, and KOTB. Now our friendship circle has grown by far. Hashtag friends forever, that's what we all are. Boom! And if you don't know, now you know. My soul called whatever for life. Hashtag MSCW Hashtag Friends Forever Yeah Uh, 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 uh Yeah Hello Hi, how's it going? Happy Happy New New Year. Year! We are recording this on New Year's Day, January 1st, 2022 I can't believe it Like, how did it get to be 2022? I have no idea. I I really don't understand it. It doesn't make sense to me. We started this podcast in 2017. That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. That is crazy because we're going into our like fifth year. Like it will be five years this year. We got to do something to celebrate. Well, we're, we will. We'll get to that. We'll get we'll to that. Be, right, we'll get there because it'll be amazing. Yes. But so, like, yeah, it's insane. I know. It's crazy to think of the time that's passed since then. And it doesn't seem very long ago, but it's like almost five years. So no, it doesn't yeah. seem long ago. And like, we've been through a lot. Like we've both been through a lot. Yeah. Like personally and metaphorically Professionally in in you know ways and it's really it's crazy but Did that makes sense metaphorically i don't know if i don't think that I, made sense but i don't think it did either but no. that's okay like hey, it, we'll, you know we'll go with it yeah let's yeah but yeah we've been through tons i mean good things and bad but mm-hmm. mostly good um mm-hmm. yeah and you guys have stuck with us you have and we <laughs> love you so much we were just talking about like some people were listening to us. Where was it? In Belgium? Yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's so it was crank. really cool. I mean, we have a lot of international listeners, but I think Belgium, that was our first in Belgium. So we have like Brazil and Mexico and in the UK, right? Australia, Australia, um, all kinds of places, but right. That was a first for Belgium. So hello in Belgium, whoever you are, or if it's multiple people, welcome to our podcast. So we decided this week that, or today, well, we decided this before Brooke went to Disney, but um, that we were going to do a recap like we usually do, because we love to go through the year to talk about like what an amazing year it was. And then we look forward to the new year and what better right. day Reminisce. to do it than today on the 1st of January. I mean, this is the perfect day to do it. It really is. It really is. I'm glad we and waited. I just want to say real quick, we didn't talk about this before, but I just want to say that I am guys, I've been devastated Oh, since yesterday. Oh, I know oh. hearing. Well, first of all, First of all, hearing about Tiffany Hale passing away right, right. from the Mickey Mouse Club and the party. I met her when I was 11 and she was so sweet. And 
obviously like it was really exciting because I love the party. Right. And that was really, really, really sad. And then guys, Betty White. No, they have this big live show planned. Like what are they going to do now? Well, they're still going to do it, I guess. Oh, they are wonderful. I'm so glad they are. But like, can I tell you, first of all, I saw it and like my heart just sunk and I started to tear up and I don't, I don't get emotional. You guys know that, but like, I really loved Betty White. And the night before I was shopping and at Target, I saw in the checkout line, the People magazine with Betty White on the cover. And it said, Betty White turning, turns 100. And I said to myself, like, I looked at it and I closed my eyes and I said to myself, my God, I hope she makes it. Cause I I feel like that's, I feel like that's a bad, like you don't celebrate someone's birthday before they have it. Right. Like, I feel like you don't do that. And anyway, it was, it was, it was literally less than 24 hours prior when I saw that. And anyway, I feel bad. So Betty White, wherever you are, we love you. You were a great lady. You really you did were. a lot. You did a lot for a lot of people and animals in this mm-hmm. world. And mm-hmm. love you for that. I found out from one of friend's friends. We were driving. Yeah. We went to go pick up her friends that um, one of them was a lot ways away. Um, yeah. And we're driving. And one of them goes, oh, my gosh, Betty White died. And I was like, what? Because I didn't. I was like, maybe they don't know, you know what they're mean <laughs> and she no Betty White died because I like started looking and then like my phone it was just like tons of notifications that she had passed so sad so it it's really it like it it's so sad it really it really is a celebration of life though. for like the afternoon and but it's one of those things that like I mean 99 lived years to be 99 like that's pretty amazing that's pretty amazing 99 years right and according to her agent, she died peacefully in her sleep, taking a nap. What? She had no illnesses. She had no, um, she wasn't battling anything. It was, she, she just, she just passed in her sleep, taking a nap on a Friday noontime or so. Wow. So the, you know what? That's how I want to go. Same. Same. That sounds great to me. That and I'm wonderful. so glad. I'm so glad that that's how it went. Yeah. If it had too. to go. By God, that was way. a good way to do that it. That is the best yeah, way. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. So anyway, no more doom and gloom. Let's talk about our year. Let's intro and then okay. talk about our yes, year. Yes, let's do it. Let it go. Okay. Okay. This, this is Brooke. And this is Nikki. And this is my so-called whatever. Happy, Happy New, Year. New Year. 2022. Yeah. 2022. Gross. What's gross? <laughs> it's just gross. I remember when it was 1992. I know. I know. Those are oh the good gosh. old days right there, my friend. Oh my gosh, that was so long ago. But it wasn't. But it was. But it wasn't. Mm-hmm. <sighs> So shall we like take a trip back in time one year? Let's do it. Let's do it. Around this time last year, we were on a TikTok high. Totally. We, we, no, we really were. Like we were posting nonstop and multiple times a day. Right. It was exhausting. I'm going to, I'm not going to lie, but I was like, no, it was exhausting. But it was also fun. Like it was, it was satisfying. so much fun. It was so much fun. And I want to do it again. Like I want to like start like content planning and doing it again because it was fun. Um, I know. That's like one of my just, goals. It takes a lot of time. Mm-hmm. And I feel like you and I haven't had as much time. That's right. I mean, not as much as we've had previously you know, right. And, um, it's not for, not for want, like we absolutely want to do these things, but, um, this year, 2021 was a challenging year for real challenging year. So, um, with that being said, 
um, we do, we do have on our agenda to talk about things like that we want to do in the future. But one of my big things is that I want to get more organized with the podcast and I want to start like seriously content planning. I mean, we content plan all the time, Brooke and I constantly, but like, there's a, like now there's books and stuff that I'm going to look into to like, you know, get a little better at those skills. So like so books it. as in kind of, I don't want to say like self-help books, but like books that will like talk you through it or books like organizers. Both. So there's both oh, like okay. content planners, like, and then there's ones that help you like mind map and like, cause I was just talking to Kevin about this. Um, I have a notebook or had a notebook that when we first started that I used to write in constantly. I mean, it was full yes. and I like, don't understand it. <laughs> like <laughs> I look at it now and like, it was like, anytime I had like a, like a fragment of an idea, I would write it down, yeah. Yeah. but it didn't make sense. So it's like, I thought I would know because it would be a real quick jot because I'd probably be like in the middle of a meeting or whatever. And I just jot it down. And I'm just like, I have no idea what that means. Like <laughs> not a clue. So yeah. I, I remember better. that. Like I remember yeah. you having that and I remember you not remembering what you were talking about. No. So I think I threw it away. I'm going to be honest with you because it, it stressed me out because I didn't, it was like yeah. so much work that I'd done and I mean, a lot of the things we ended up bringing to like light, we actually like planned them out and did them, but there's a lot of stuff that Absolutely. we just didn't make sense. So I was just like, I, you know what? I didn't throw it away. I know I didn't, but, um, yeah, I want to get better at that. And yeah, so that's what I want to do in 2022, but we're talking about 2021 right now and right off the high of TikTok, we made two friends from the podcast. Oh my gosh, we did. New pod on the block. And we have them on our show. We have them on our podcast. We had a little bit of technical difficulties there, but now we're back. And we were talking about our friends from New Pod on the Block. And yeah, they were so much fun. That was such a fun episode. Um, we did an episode with them. I'm not sure when they're going to air it. Sorry, my dog's in the background. <laughs> you can hear him like, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> um, I'm, we're, we're recording. I'm recording at my house to like, I'm not in my office. So um, everybody's kind of around and you might hear Same. Brent cough every once in a while. But um, <laughs> yeah, we did an episode with them. Not sure when it will air, um, but when it does, we will let you know. And we yeah. also met um, our new friend Jade with some <gasps> shiny pretties. Shiny pretties. Mm -hmm. She was mm -hmm. so fun. She was so much fun. I love her content. Like, absolutely love her content. Yeah. She does a really, really good job on TikTok. You guys should go check her out. You really should. And she's also on Instagram. She is. Yes. Yes. She's, she's so much fun. So we also met some new friends from Rat Tail. Oh, you guys know Rat Tail, Adrian yes. and Chris. Oh my God, uh, I love them. And we had them on January 25th. So that's when we became, that's when our friendship started. And we had them on our podcast and we've been on their YouTube channel and it's, they're, they're just great. I love them. And I can't they wait. They really to, are like, great. We need to have them on again. Yes, absolutely. I am so happy that I met Adrian in Vegas. Yeah, Brooke needs to I'm meet jealous. them, and I need to meet Chris <laughs> too. So yeah, I know they're good people, and they're like real, like the real deal. Like they're they, they're for real. Yes, yeah, real deal. So yeah, they're cool. So then, guys. Oh my gosh, do you remember? I can't believe this was like almost a year ago. I know that we had Jeff Timmons on her ah. 90 degrees. That's insane to me. You guys are, I'm like, I'm so excited. Like 
I know there's tons of other people that are friends with him on Facebook, but I love it when his like stuff pops up and I'm like, oh my God, like I, we joked him on our podcast and I'm friends with him on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, it feels like yesterday, honestly. It does. And he was just a gem. I absolutely like, what, love him. What a guy. What a guy. No. I really want to meet him in person. So like, I really want to go see 90 degrees and like do a meet and greet because that'd be fun. I really want to like meet him in person and be like, Hey, you know, cause I feel like, I don't know. I just, it was, it was an awesome episode. If you haven't listened to it, it go back and listen to it. It was, it was like so surreal to be like, Oh my God, Jeff Timmons. We're talking about Jeff Timmons right now. <laughs> it, was it was so cool. cool. Yeah. So then we, Soleil Moonfry came out with her Kid 90 movie, which was amazing. And we did a little episode on that. And it was just so cool because we like had interaction with her on Twitter, which was amazing. Like that was, that really was cool. cool. That was cool. And if you guys haven't watched it, you really should check it out and then go listen to our episode. But like, yes. you should check it out because it's just like a glimpse into like a time, like a snapshot in time in the 90s among like young Hollywood. It was right. Really, it was it was eye opening. Right. Right. But super neat. So then we had um, our friend Andy on. Yes. And, Andy. Um, I mean, you guys know Andy, Andy yes. Albin. Oh, yeah. I hope I say that right. Yes. Andy um, Albin. Yes. That was so cool. She's, we've gotten to know her and um, the real deal. And it was just, it was cool to hear like the behind the scenes stuff. It was just really neat. I, I, I really had a great time with her and she's going to come on again soon. So yeah. Yeah. Can't wait. That will be so Love much her. fun. Yes. Then in April, we had our first NKOTB block action event, which if you guys didn't already know, NKOTB block action, we are with a bunch of other content creators, new kids related content creators. Um, and we do this like little thing, this little like zoom fun thing, um, where we party and dance and have trivia. It's so much fun. Um, it's just fun for all of us to get together. And um, Naomi from Dope Nostalgia podcast is the one that kind of brought us all together. And I just think it's great that all of us still keep in touch. And we're, I think we're planning another one soon. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So stay fun. Stay on the lookout for that. Stay tuned. Yes. <laughs> for block action. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you guys, in April, we had uh, later in April. Mm-hmm. We had Danny P on. Do you remember Danny P from TikTok in the yearbook, the Joe McIntyre yearbook? Oh my God, oh, I love Danny. That P. was cool. I I absolutely adore him. He had and some I'm great so stories. Sad we didn't get to meet him. I was so excited to meet him in Fenway. So freaking excited. I'm so sad we didn't get to meet him. But maybe we'll you meet can him. Just tell. Yeah, like you can just tell he's such a warm person. So warm, just so nice, and again another gem. Just another gem. Amazing. Loved him. Right. In May. It's gonna be May. Oh my God. OMG, we had Chris Kirkpatrick. What? What? That was insane. Yeah. That was like one of those, is this real life type of things. Right. It was just, and Stephanie and Becky, you know what you did. Oh, you know yeah. you, you guys are the, the you were the MVPs in fact of that Becky just made a new video that she posted on TikTok for that is like yes. asking Lance like <laughs> calling Lance Lance you need to go on the my so-called whatever podcast I love it thank you Becky <laughs> that was awesome that was so, awesome yes that and was Chris amazing Kirkpatrick was just <sighs> everything and he more was kind of for he was kind of how I expected him to be like, which just goes to show like mm-hmm. he, he is the person that he is. Right. Right. You know, like he's real. See, he's the real deal. Yeah. Yeah. He's funny. 
Yeah, so funny. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. So funny. Love him. My favorite part was when he brought out the costume for it. Was it Digital Get Down or was it? I can't remember now which one. I can't remember either. Which, um, I know. Against, yeah. It, he brought yeah. out the cost. I'll have to go back and, and listen to it. But he brought out the costume. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, it was it's amazing. It was so fun. Ugh. So fun. So you guys sent us some prom stories. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those are amazing. We love, love, love when we put a call out for stories and you guys deliver. And that was like you guys delivered. Like you totally oh, yeah, delivered. You and totally. I love the themes that we do. Like that's, those are more things. Like I definitely want to do more themed episodes that then we yeah. do a call out. And then people, in fact, I'm thinking like Valentine's day. Yeah. We do a Valentine's day theme and we'll put it out now. If you guys have Valentine's yes. day stories, we'd love to hear them. Like, did you also never get um, a carnation? Around carnation. Day? I was just <laughs> gonna say, did, you, did your school do carnations? <laughs> I think I got one once, and I think one of my friends got me one. If I, I remember don't think correctly, I ever got one. Yes, um, I think I got one one time, and it was from like Corey or somebody. Because Aww. I had mentioned, like, I always wanted to get a carnation, and. That was nice. Yeah. And I think it was Corey. And I feel bad if it wasn't. Like, I feel bad. Well, yeah. Um, Nikki. But somebody that did. It was like 30 years ago. I know. I can't remember who did it, but <laughs> I just remember. But here's the thing like, I got really excited about it because I thought it was a boy. Oh. <laughs> and then I was like, oh. Right. <laughs> It oh. is one of my besties. Yes, which was still <laughs> very still, nice, very sweet. But... Honestly, looking back on it, mm-hmm. that means more. Mm-hmm. It it really <laughs> does. It really does. It really means a lot more. So we'll do another call out for you guys, and we'll talk a little bit about that at the end of the end of the episode. But moving right yeah. along, we're now in June. We had Devin from the "I Want It That Way" Backstreet Boys video. She was so fun. <laughs> Love her book. She was a great guest. She really was. She was just full of energy and just so fun to have on. It it was just really neat. I love special guests, as you as you guys know. I love special guests. So keep them coming. Yes. Yes. And and then in July we had Bird. Yes, Bird. Yes, she was fun too. She was fun. She's awesome. She has great stories. Mm -hmm. Um, and another great guest. And another great guest again, love special guests, love them. So then we celebrated our fourth anniversary in July. And I believe we did like a little fundraiser, didn't we? I think so. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, did we? I'm pretty sure that yeah, we, did. we did. Yes. No, we definitely and, did. And it was fun. It went well. And <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it did. Yes, yes, yes. And originally we were supposed to be celebrating our fourth anniversary at Fenway, but it got rescheduled. Right. So next year, not to jinx it, but the new concert that was just added for Boston is on July 6th, 16th, sorry, 16th, which is our five-year anniversary. So we're going to be spending our five-year anniversary at a meet and greet concert it's all going to happen all over again. It's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. I can't excited. wait. I cannot wait. We'll get to do it right this time. Yes. Yeah. Not that it was wrong the last time, but right. like we were so excited for it and mm-hmm. that it didn't happen. So now right. like this, hope, knock on wood. I just knocked on some wood. Yeah. I heard that it. This will go. Yeah. And, and it should. Yeah, and we're, I mean, the new mixtape tour, so excited. I'm so excited. And I got an individual. (laughs) I'm just excited about that. I'm excited and I'm scared, like scared out of my mind at the same time. Oh, as it creeps closer, it'll be fine. Even more scared. It'll be fine. You'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. So, Oh, it's your turn to talk about the next thing. Oh, it is. Yes. So then we had, guys, more special guests, friendship mm-hmm. stories with Katie, Heather, and Christy. Oh, I love and them. we, oh, me too. And it was so nice to have them. We were all on Zoom. We had a grand old time chatting. We another did. 
trio of great guests and we actually got to meet them like like see them spend some a little bit of time with them I wish it was I wish it was more time but I'm right, glad that we got right. to spend the time that we did because I absolutely love them and we got to see them in Fenway so that was nice and I got to see um Heather and JJ in Vegas so that was Ooh. fun too yeah. mm-hmm. and Christy in I'm Vegas jealous. yes <laughs> So then moving right on from that, sorry, I know it's your turn, but I'm just going to like segue right into it. Oh, yeah, 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 Fenway. yeah, yeah. Like we went to Fenway. Yeah, we, we did. saw them in Fenway. We were yeah, at Fenway. We did. we did. We did the trolley in Fenway. Yes. Yes. <laughs> there are some pictures and videos that we'll never see the light of day. Um. Yes. Yes, indeed. And they are and if hilarious. You, and you know who you are that yes, has these do. pictures and videos. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, absolutely. You do. They will, they will never see the light of day. <laughs> I freaking love it. And it was just, we had so much fun and it, it was, was blast. just, it was just fun to be with everybody and, you know, not think, I mean, it was for a moment we didn't, weren't thinking about COVID or, you know, I mean, we were, but we weren't, I mean, obviously right. we were, but at the same time, it was like, I don't know. It was just nice to be with our get friend. together. Yeah. Yeah. It was just really nice. And yeah. Yeah. So that was that. Yeah. Um, oh, that. Oh, I should do the next one. Okay. Yes. Um, so <laughs> then we had another NKOTB block action, which was amazing. It was so much fun. Um, but then on a high from Fenway, I went to Vegas and I saw Joey McIntyre and I saw so many amazing people. It was, it was really cool. And then I got COVID (laughs) and that was not fun. That was awful. Fun at all. Not fun at all. So I felt so bad. It was awful. Yeah. But I'm glad it's over with. I still have long COVID. So I still have stuff that's, it sucks. And I don't know. I hope it goes away someday, but I'm kind of like dealing with like living with it. So yeah, but I will say Vegas was really fun. It was, it was awesome to see everybody. Joey put on an amazing show. Debbie Gibson was amazing. Fantastic. (sighs) Gorgeous. I just love her. I'm so oh. mad at the picture that I took with her because it looks like I'm like butting her out of the picture. But you're like, <laughs> what are you doing, Beyond? I'm Get so mad at that picture. I'm like, why am I doing that? I'm such a weirdo. But um, <laughs> yeah, it was it was fun to do a meet and greet with both of them, and um, yeah, it, it, honestly, it's cool. It, the and I don't mean anything against Joey or Debbie Gibson, but the friends part was probably the best part of it. I mean, I loved going to the shows. Absolutely. But seeing my friends, seeing our friends Mm -hmm. was just the, it just makes it all, it just makes it all like worth it. It really does. It really does. Obviously like the show and stuff is worth it. Yes. Right. Right. Absolutely. But absolutely. It adds some spice. That's right. And a little spice that it needs, that it needs. And we all need that. Yes. Yes. Then we met a new friend, Joe. Yes. And we had him on Mm -hmm. and um, helped, helped him with his dad bod contest. Yes, that is true. That is true. (laughs) He was a great guest. It was a lot of fun. Um, Yeah. I went to Disney. Yep. That was fun. Um, It looked like fun. It was, it was great. It was just, I, I had an absolute blast. But then we returned in November and we finally did another My So Club Life episode on November 15th. After like a year and a half or something right. ridiculous. Right. It was crazy. <laughs> that that really is crazy. Yes. That it took that long, but that's right. It was fun. It was. It was a lot of fun. I love that show. Me too. Can't wait. We got to do an- another one like pretty soon. I know. And then speaking of rewatches. Mm-hmm. We did a new watch. Yes. Uh, with our friend Christine. And yes. we uh, did an episode on 8-Bit Christmas. That was fun. That was that was a blast. I love doing that. And that, that was, movie was great. That was such a cute movie. I really enjoyed it. 
Yes. It was like so um it was like a Christmas story in for our generation. Exactly. I loved it. That was cool. And of course it's it was awesome having Christine on. Yes, absolutely. I love, love her. Christine. She's a good friend. She really is. And then I went to Disney. That's right. <laughs> and you had a blast. I did have a blast. It was great. It was kind of like a last minute ish type of thing. And my husband turned 50 and it was the 50th anniversary of Disney, like the 50th birthday of Disney World. How amazing. And that was just so, so cool. we were like, let's go to Disney. And we did. Yes. We had a great time. Yeah. I'm so glad that you guys had, like did that. That was so cool. And we've only been back for like a little over a week. We got back the 23rd and I am already planning on my next one. <laughs> I want to, I can't wait to go again. I seriously cannot oh wait gosh. to go again. I fr- like it like sparked new Disney love for me. Like I am becoming a Disney adult. Like it's I just love Disney. so expensive, but anyway, really that's another conversation for another time. Another we another also should really do day. universal. Yes. Universal is fun. Yes, I will do that anyway. someday. But um, um, yeah, like I, I'm glad I didn't go to Universal because I like got sick in Disney, which wah, wah, and I just right, I wouldn't have been able to do any rides or anything. So I, it kind of worked out that we didn't do it. Yeah, but I do want to do it someday. Absolutely, so. you should. We should do it together. Yeah, that would be fun. That would be fun. Yeah, both of them. But I want to stay on property. Yeah, that's the yeah, that's that's what we said. For, Next time we're staying on we property, do. like absolutely yeah, staying on sure. property. So for sure. So that was 2021, guys. Yeah, that was 2021 in a, in a nutshell. Yeah, and I know we said a little bit about like what we're looking forward to in 2022, but let me just tell you, I want more boy band members and special guests. I'm just putting it out there, putting it out there. I want Lance Bass. Oh, I want Lance Bass so bad. He, it, you know what? It is high time that he comes on this podcast. Right. And we also need another new kid. I'm talking to you, Danny Wood. I was we just going to say. We want we you want on our podcast, Danny Wood. 2022 is the year of Danny Wood. We want Danny Wood on the podcast. I have developed a crush on Danny, actually. I know you have. <laughs> I know you have. (laughs) (laughs) I absolutely love all of his content. I love the woodworks and it's, I just love like everything about him. I just think he's great. And I've, I've gotten to see a side of him that I never really like. Well, I don't think anybody knew knew. maybe a lot of people knew, but um, I just think it's fun and he's great. So it's neat because it's like a glimpse. It's just a further glimpse into like him, like in a, like in a, like a real sort of way. Right. Right. And he's and it's awesome. he like, he's just fun. So he, la- he makes me laugh and I would love to have him on the podcast because he's fantastic. So putting that out there in the universe. 100%. Yeah. And so, yeah, I was just going to say, um, we do need some Valentine's day stories. We do. And other stories too, like new kid stories, yes, 80s, 90s stories. If you guys have a yes. theme idea, send it our stories, way. backstreet stories. Yes. Any like boy band stories or any any concert band from 80s or 90s that you went to, whether they you went, it's a story from then mm-hmm. or they are touring again. Right. Right. And right. you went more recent. Right. We, we want to hear it. We would love to hear it. Uh, 100%. And send and, your pictures too, because I like those. And if you have any ideas for my so called whatever, whatever episodes, I know we're going to talk a little bit about health. Like, yep. Um, probably coming up here in the next couple episodes. Um, so we'd love to hear like your weight loss stories or like how, like, you did sell, you know, your self care stories, like stuff like that healthy habits, things yes. like that. We want to hear it. I think that's going to be our first, my so-called whatever, whatever episode. Pickups. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> so really that's all we have. Um, looking forward to mixtape 2020. <laughs> <No. laughs> 
<laughs> Please leave that in. Okay. Well, <laughs> looking forward to Mixtape 2022. Yes, we are. That'll be so fun. And we know that um, leading up to it, there'll be a lot to celebrate. And then after, mm-hmm. we'll have a lot of stories to celebrate too. Keep hiccuping. <laughs> Gosh. On that note, I think we should go. All right. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be good. So, <laughs> leave it all in. I love it. Okay. We'll be loving, we'll you, be loving forever you forever and ever. <laughs> all right. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay.